Yo, what's up? It's your boy, this is Mutupi, and I'm back here on my YouTube channel. I thank you so much for actually making time and joining this YouTube channel. But please, before I just dive in on, on the charts, I want you to actually um, visit my, 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 my Forex Jesus 2.0 course. I just launched it today, to be specific. I launched it today, and it's amazing that you guys are going to have access to three years of experience just put down in one simple course. So do make sure to check it out. And also, I'll be doing this each and every Monday or Sunday night. I'll be posting out such um, such videos where you'll be able to just see the weekly forecast. Obviously, I'll be taking a few um, positions from the, uh, a few trades, I mean, from the premium team whereby I do these um, live sessions each and every Sunday with them. Uh, normally, we go through six pairs, so I'll just be sharing like maybe one or two pairs now and then with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Make sure to just sit back and enjoy this live session. Take notes and maybe you can make a few profits for the week. JPY. It's beautiful. Just the ones that understand structure, the ones that just know how structure moves and stuff. You can simply just take a look at this and be like, wow, this is a beautiful pain. Because take a look at this now. We are remember we are now on the weekly time frame. Weekly. Let me, let me even zoom in for this. There we go. Okay, we are now on the weekly time frame. You can see this impulsive move that dropped all the way to the downside. Now, this impulsive move dropped all the way. So now we are in this phase. So if I created a, a, a correction before, like it played out like this. I actually had like a trend that, that went up like this. Remember, I had something like this, something like this, and I believe that it has to come all the way down to the 90% rule. And because of okay, obviously you see how it kept on moving downwards, but still it's coming all the way because it didn't break the previous lower highs. And we still, it's still a valid setup, I would say. Just that now it came to retest at least here, create new lower highs, as you can see, it even created, and then continue going down. But I moved on, I, I left, um, that, um, I actually left the setup, I evolved pattern separation, and also evolving my structures. So now I was able to spot something much more better. This impulsive move, now this correction phase, the first touch, second touch, third touch here, out of the third touch. Mm. After the third touch, you can simply see that Price gave us this beautiful engulfing candlestick. Right here, close to the third touch, gave us this beautiful engulfing candlestick. The bearish candlestick is engulfing compared to the um to the to the bullish one, which shows that now we are ready to go to the downside. I love these kinds of pair setups. Okay, so let me just zoom out a bit. Targets would be here. Previous lows, prices to come, break lows. Obviously, first target can be here. First target can be here, second target here, overall target is here, a few thousand pips. So let me just go back to the daily. Okay. To the daily, there we go. So on the daily, I like how it, how this pattern like printed this beautiful ascending type pattern. Take a look at it being the first touch here, second touch, also third touch. Let me just zoom in a bit on the third touch and see what's, what's happening. So just by zooming in on the third touch, you can see price actually confirmed with the with this. Firstly, with this candlestick, it, 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 this was a bullish issue. It showed a lot of momentum, but it didn't break out. See, it came back to, re, to respect um, the, 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 the resistance zone. The next candlestick was a hammer, on which this would have been also a beautiful setup. You just do something like this, obviously, something like this. And also just hold, hold it all the way down to the downsides. So you can simply see, like, after just by this hammer, could have took it or could have also just took it after this engulfing. But this is also an evidence star confirmation. Broke out, went all the way downwards. Also another three would have been, um, let's see, YouTube can just break out. Having something like this break out, you can take it. But also, you could also just take a look at this price coming back. Creating this short term, um, what's it, correction. On the four hour time frame, we'll be able to get something like a, a correction that shows an ascending type. Then this engulfing candle that shows that now we are ready. So an entry on the setup would be something like this. Now. An entry on the setup would be something like this. But remember, I'm using bigger time frames, so it's going to be a bit more different with the... Okay. So just by looking at it, we're looking at a positive 2.5 thousand pips. You can see it here, 2,526 pips on this um, GP, JPY. All you have to do is to just, honestly, is to just uh, make sure that your, your, your stop losses are a bit low. Then you can fully capitalize on this. This is actually a pair that I'm going to be taking soon during the week that I'm going to be holding it because even just by looking at it now, take a look at this. By looking at this previous um, support area, now price pushed a bit upwards, now it came here. So as soon as it closes above, that's a major confirmation. We've got a confirmation already because it closed below the one here, but a major confirmation be it also closing below. So what you can do also is that you can place your sell stop, sell stop just here. 
few pips below a cell stop to show if it does continue to go downwards will be activated so it's much better much better this way okay so um gbpg it looks amazing very much amazing so let us take advantage on gbpj poor so let me move on to k dollar what's it nasdaq nasdaq i was taking a look at nasdaq i noticed a lot of members in the group are actually interested on nasdaq well okay no, why not let me just show them um a few setups that i was able to just come up with because i also um became a part of it for like a few weeks and i'm not yet um into it like for like what years and stuff just like with currencies and stuff but I'm a bit com com confident taking a trade on it. So just by looking at it on the weekly time frame, peak value on this one is a bit different. People like it because of the peak value. It's just a bit different. It's just like being different with um gold or GBP, JPY or what else or any other thing that's that's that has much more greater value. So we've got our first touch here, second touch. Obviously, one thing that I, I spotted from this was like uh, uh was it uh, uh, a long like uh, an upper trend. So I just wanted to keep on looking for just buys, buys wherever I can get buys. Yeah. So shorts, yes, you can be able to get, to, to get short opportunities, but the money is actually at the longer range because you can just buy and leave it there and then believe that it's going to continue to just go upwards. Okay, so yeah, I just on the week, I wanted to show you guys that we are actually in an upper trend. Upper trend, also a movement would be nice if price just pushes down, as you can see, it's ascending, pushes down and breaks out, but come all the way down here maybe. And then go all the way up. But this would also be seen as a good trade because you, you'd know for sure that you sell. I mean, you're buying here and you're holding it. Like I want to hold it. Okay. Daily time frame. Can see with our first touch here, second touch. Now we are pretty, we, we're slowly going for the third up to some of I I think I had a line like this, but I was like, let me not be too quick to judge it. I think I had something like this. I was like, no, let me just leave it. Allow it to show me like once it gets here what happens, but. Just by looking at structure, you can see that when price gets somewhere close to here, there's going to be like the highest point. It hasn't been this high ever before. There's going to be the highest point right here. Once it gets here, it can drop all the way to the downside. Give us at least a third touch. First touch, second touch, third touch. Maybe take a short term. So our short term so would be like maybe just a year. Short term so would be maybe something like this and then target would be here. Not too much amazing, but this would be a trade that you can get. And then from here, once it gets here, third touch, as you can see, with our first touch, second touch, third touch. One thing that I want, one thing that I'm looking for is honestly to just be buying it when it gets at least at this level here, at the third touch. Because this is going up, it keeps on pushing upwards like massively. So why look for sales like, when, when it's going upwards? At the same time, you can't really buy it like right now, like as in like now when it's here. Because yes, it keeps on creating new highs and new highs and new highs. But there, there's not much potential. Because remember, you can go, you can buy it, take profit here. Then come here and then continue going upwards. So that's something else, you understand? That's something different. So we need to take advantage of the now, what's happening now. Okay? So short term trade to the upside, long term, I mean, not, I mean, short term trade, short term trade also to the downside, then a long term trade to the upside, much, 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 much greater. Looking forward to, even if I don't take the sell, I can take a long, I, I like long going long on trees that are going to the upside. That's one thing that I like to do. I like just going long with them, you know, be on the right side of the market. DB care okay. My overall target is here. Yeah. Lows. You can see price pushed down it's massively like superman. Remember, even this being my, my overall target, this price is like price can drop way more than this. You know, I'm sure you guys know that like can drop way more. Because just by using this name. Remember with patterns, it's in this is that you take from um the impulse to measure the next target. So normals. After the breakout, basically, after the breakout, this can be seen as a future target. These are uh, like how you actually create these patterns, you know. But I, I like to just stick to these ones that are a bit closer, but at the same time, they are worth a lot of pips. Because take a look at this from here to here, is like what 2000, 2002 pips, and um, 2200 pips on which you can take advantage of. It's amazing. Okay, so now this impulse, this correction here, correction also came with the left shoulder hit. Right shoulder, so now we're dropping down. As you can see, how the, impo the, 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 the impossible move to the downwards is. See how aggressive this move is like it. literally, you just see a lot of um, red candles. So, this is a lower high, lower high, it didn't break the lower high. So, basically, what I'm trying to say is that we are we can be expecting such moves like in the next few weeks, just drops. You can see even here, massive drops downwards to show that the momentum is to the down. So, you can see such candlesticks or like in the bullish when, when the market is going to the downside. 
So even with the candles, if you are like candles the confirmations because they confirm like accurately. So see the last touch now. Okay, this is the first, second, the third touch. See what it done. It gave us this beautiful candlestick that and that was undecided as you can see with the long week to the upside and also the long week to the downside, which is a bit undecided. I don't know if whether it wants to go down already or if it wants to break out. But the next candlestick was like I'm going down, went engulfing, went all the way to the downside and then gave us this beautiful breakout. So this is something that I wanted us to actually take advantage of. Because even after this, okay, even on the daily time frame, take a look at this beautiful candlestick before price. This one couldn't break, this one came, could have even took a sell here, stop loss, went all the way down. This also was another entry breakout here. This also was another entry as it came. This is the one that we are going to be taking now. Because it came to retest, as you can see, went back down. Because you can simply see this was previous support. Previous support area, it's now resistance. And as soon as it got it gave us this beautiful engulfing candlestick, which makes it much more better for us to take advantage of. So a saw would be nice to have like this. There's something here. Obviously, you won't be taking with the one hour, but I'm trying to show you. I mean, with the, with the daily, you won't be taking trades with the daily, but I'm just trying to show what, what a trade on this would look like now. After like taking such, you can even see, I'm sure like, yeah, just by going to a smaller time frame, I promise that I won't be doing smaller time frames, but just by going on the small time frame, you can simply see that it would have a pattern here, on which it would, it would have, like, on the one hour, I believe this way you would have got your entry, whereby it, 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 would, it would, would have allowed you to um get that, like, 40, 30 pip stop loss. So, now we are actually waiting for the market to, to um open. I can't really say that it has to confirm something, because... Like, there's a lot of evidence for me. Like, even here, you can simply say that I, now it's at support. Let me wait for it. But um, there's more chances of it breaking. It's going to break and then go all the way to the downside. So, it's a trade that I'm looking to capitalize on to GBK. We just launched Forex Chases 2.0. So, I'll just drop the link down in the description box where you'll be able to see, access it. And each and every Monday or Sunday night, expect these videos from me from now on. So make sure to also hit the subscribe button just so you can get quick access to these videos as soon as they are posted. Hit the notification bell just so when I post these videos, you'll be able to know that I have posted. And then you can be able to just be a few weeks, I mean, a few days ahead of the market. So I thank you so much and do have a phenomenal day.